Hi folks, I'm up at Astral Bank. I'm starting off by the allotments and heading down towards Dark Lane on a public footpath walk. Hope you enjoy the video folks. Good morning, good evening or good afternoon folks. I'm up at Astral Bank. Obviously I've mentioned before I used to live up here when I was a kid. I'm just on the corner of uh, Castle Street and Fecknam Road. There used to be a factory at the back of me, I think it was Perkins Factory. Uh, I'm now going on a walk, so uh, I've got my new wellies on to road test. Don't forget to do the usual, like and subscribe, stay safe in these Covid times, then I know I say it a bit, but let's hurry up and get that jab down us. So uh, it's a frosty morning, we had a touch of snow overnight. Anyway, that's enough of me going on. That's another story. Anyway, catch you in a bit, folks. Martin, I've just bumped into him. I saw him at the Ford the other week. He saw me video. Nice to see you. Stay safe. Perkins close there. So I'm just going to go in by the allotments. Uh, so this is Feckman Road. There used to be a woman called Mrs. Cave. Used to live on the right. She was German. I learned to count to up to five in German, ein swoint dry, fear, film, sex, or things that's up to six. So this is the uh, allotment here. So uh, let's go and have a look. Yeah, it's, uh, it's more like a Christmas card than a, an allotment this morning. Looks really nice. So, uh, Follow me anyway, folks, as I road test my new wellies out. Bit of information here at the allotment. Now follow me. Today, the 23rd of January, we're in lockdown three. I so said I'm just on my sort of daily walk. New wellies on, and uh, it's a bit fresh. The Don is uh, okay at the moment. Yes, uh, it's been a few years since I've walked down these allotments, so I'm on an OS Maps uh, public footpath walk off the off my app. See how we get on, folks. Just spotted the cat there, picture at the shed window. It looks nice. Yes, uh, it's a fresh morning, and. Uh, I'll do a little pan round where I am at the allotments. Surprised they haven't built houses on here. Very surprised they've still got allotments, but that's a good thing. Anyway, follow me, folks. Yeah, so I've got the new wellies on. I am going to do a little review on them. So this is uh, the bottom of the soles. Oh, and he fell over then. Uh, yeah, so far... My feet feel nice and cosy, nice and warm. So uh, I'll let you know after this walk uh, how I'll get on. So follow me, folks. Nice tree there. Be nice to see it again in the summer. The dusting of snow here this morning. So. Uh, Looks nice, very nice. Follow me. Bathtub here. With all the amenities at this uh, allotment. There. So, I start to do a little swing round. Uh, looks very nice. Very Christmas card feeling. It's a bit wet down here. Little kissing gate. It's got the arrow. Well, I've got to go on the walk. Yeah, that's the uh, end of the allotments. And uh, I'll carry on walking down here. I think we're going to go straight on. So follow me, folks. It's a cold one. All right, well, I haven't slipped over yet. But many years ago, uh, I went to Coton uh, Ford with... Uh, 
someone come along and uh, it was we had the snow anyway oh yeah uh, there was a mound of snow I said stand on that mound and I'll take your picture she said no you stand on it so I stood on it and all of a sudden I slipped over and uh, on the photo all you can see is my hands as I fell over so luckily I weren't injured and then uh, as I walked to my Land Rover Discovery I fell over again on my back so uh, always try and be a bit careful but uh, chickens over there I'll have to do my usual good morning good evening or good afternoon no they're not interested but uh, it's really nice around here I'm not sure the actual location where I am there's a little pond there just do a little shot where I am it's very picturesque here really really nice oh, whoever lives here I'm just telling you now I'm jealous looks great really nice I've come out on Dark Lane um, which although I lived in Hasselbank all my young life I never knew about this little route down here there's the gate there for the uh, to go on your yeah, public footpath I think it's a bit tight to get through but anyway it's where the map's really good because I've got to cross the road now so uh, just got to go over there so follow me folks I was, wasn't going to go on a walk uh, today but uh, according to the Amazon it was going to be about a week before the wellies arrived and uh, my ring doorbell rang this morning, it was postman Pat, so I thought I'd have to give him a road test, follow me. Yes, again, if I hadn't got the uh, ordnance uh, survey map, uh, I bought it, well the app, I wouldn't know this route exists, or be able to follow it, it's fantastic. Sun's out, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful this morning. Didn't know this little path existed, so we're uh, going to explore. Oh, trying to new well is out. I did slip them, but uh, I'm all right. I must say, my feet are nice and warm. Doing a little shot across the field here. So it did snow a bit last night, it's all turned to like a frost now, and that's the way. I've got to go, I will show the map on the uh, video later. Yeah, this is where I'm going. So it's sort of like along the edge of Dark Lane. So, so far it's a very nice walk. As I've come out now there's a the path uh, rejoins there so that's okay just going to do a little pan around where i am so this is dark lane here so used to come down here years ago i'll tell you all about it in a bit yeah so the path must have got a bit redirected but uh so this is uh you know really nice i mean I've said it on some of the other videos, but you could be miles away, Lake District, Peak District, and they've got the mountains and that, but you've got these lovely walks, and, uh, you know, they're public, they're for the people to use. You can't stop and have a picnic on them, or barbecue, but you can walk on them, family walks, and... Uh, you know, we all need to make more use of them because they're great. So, follow me, folks. Steps here. Looks like I've got to carry on over there now. There's no smell, but I think that's the sewer works there. So, I'll carry on that way now. Yeah, it's uh, 
it's really nice. I've just come up the steps and uh, I can hear the birds in the background and uh, sun's out. What more can you ask for? I think where I'm coming along there used to be the football, the Astle Bank. I think it was Astle Bank Rovers. It was their ground here. But we'll have a closer look. So follow me, folks. I'm sure this is where the football ground used to be here. They did have um, a pop concert on many years ago. A chap called Raymond Froggett. He was the headline. So, uh, yeah, it's very nice. Follow me, folks. Hi, folks. Hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up on this. Anyway, uh, for a bit of information, Fecknum's that way. And uh, Asshole Bank's that way. And then Redditch is sort of behind me and Warwickshire, well, Studley, Olcester, it's over there. <laughs> anyway, follow me folks, catch you in a bit. A bit tight down here, but uh, there's nobody else about. Uh, I don't have to worry about social distancing. Yeah, so I'm pretty certain that used to be the football pitch there for the Asselbank Rovers. There used to be a club there as well, which I'll uh, tell you more about that in a minute. Yeah, used to have a club here, they used to have a disco one of the nights in the week. I was about 17 I think when I used to come to that, which uh, uh, it was a good night. So uh, yeah, had some good times there. Anyway, follow me folks, we're going to go down a bit of a slope here. I'm going to come down this slope, I'm going to try the new wellies out. Seem to be gripping well down here. So no problem with that folks, they've uh, done well. I've come back out onto Dark Lane at the second. I'm going to get the map out and see whether the path still runs along there so follow me folks carry on the walk just spotted this lovely view through the trees uh, with a picture and uh, yeah that's great there's very frosty leaves here to finish it off still continuing on the sun's coming out and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, I had a nice walk yesterday. At, uh, well, I've done a couple of videos. The snow drops at the church and then a nice walk. That was great. So, uh, just coming into the field now. So, follow me, folks. So, a couple of horses over there. So that's one of the thing, good things, I think you need to keep your dogs on a lead because you never know you're going to come into a field. The dogs might start running after the horses. And I'm sure the owners of the horses won't be very happy. Eight on the wellies. My feet are nice and toasting warm. Very warm, so, so far they've got uh, five stars. And, uh, I'm going to cry a bit, I'm going to get my new boots a bit muddy, but that's what I've got them for, for the off-road. So, follow me folks. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely day. I'm just going to get my uh, phone out to check on the app to make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, Let's have a decker. Yeah, so soon I've got to turn right shortly. So follow me, folks. Yeah, just checked on my map on the app and that's where I've got to go. Over there now. 
So, uh, so far the walk's been great. You can see there is a post for the uh, public footpath, but there's no sign in there. So I will be having a word, I think, with the uh, right department to try and get some of these signs sorted out. But so it's a absolutely lovely view over there. Follow me anyway, folks, on the walk. Yeah, so this is where I've got to go, folks. So follow me. You can see the arrow on there. And so my feet are nice and toasting this morning. It's a good try out with these wellies and all this ice and snow. <laughs> Coming to another little gate here. I'm just going to do a little pan round where I am. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, ideal, lovely little walk. Yeah, just checking on the map. I'm going the right way. There's some private land to the right of me on that sign. And uh, this is the public footpath, folks. So, follow me. Information on there why well, you should keep your dog on a lead and uh, it does say there we do not wish to shoot your pets but you may force us if they attack our livestock so just be careful top of Aswood Hill up there I know I've got to walk part way up it so um, gonna go across this field now so it's a lovely sunny morning, absolutely lovely. It's a nice view across the field there. It's lovely and peaceful. Let's say for the moment with this COVID, forget the parks where it's crowded. Come out on some of these public footpaths walks, they're great. I've come, you know, to another field with some uh, horses. He's having his own little back rub there, or he or she. Uh, yeah, so it's a nice and a lovely view across there, and this is where I'm going now, across here. Across this bridge folks going over that fence because I've zoomed in on the map and the public footpath is this side of the hedge a young lad just pointed me in the right way so follow me folks I did go off course slightly because I went over that fence but the footpath was just this side so I was going for a kissing gate but uh, get through into this field. Lovely tree there. Yeah, there's a little sign here. It's pointing all the walks. They ought to have more. I think there's one here. The water trough's in a bit better condition than the uh, one on yesterday's video. Just do a little shot round where I am. So I must say, it's an absolute beautiful day. The sun's out through the clouds and it's really nice. Just me and the sheep. You know, uh, all the grass will bank there. Uh, it's been a lovely walk, still got a bit to go. Just want to say a quick, uh, Thanks to all my subscribers, and I think there's been a few new ones recently. I appreciate that. Appreciate all the likes, uh, especially in these lockdown times. Not everybody can get out. I can be your legs, even if they are tired ones, and uh, show you around. So don't forget the thumbs up. Catch you in a bit, folks. A kissing guys. But uh, it's a nice gate, well maintained. Follow me, folks.
Yeah, I'm on the last, uh, I think, leg of my walk now. I'm going to get the map out in a minute. Check my route. So, follow me. Dog here, just saying hello. Very nice. Yeah, there's a horse in that field there. So I nearly went in that field by mistake, but with the help of that young lad, I did ask him, but I could see on the map I was the wrong side of the edge. Look for a picture. And uh, gonna get, uh, get back round to where I am there. Good evening, good morning, or well, good afternoon, folks. <laughs> These are nice. I don't know what they are sheep, but I don't know what breed they are, but they do look nice. Arrow to go left on the side. I will check my map. Right. Follow me, folks. Yeah, it's been a lovely walk. Um, I don't think I'm far away now from the uh, end of the walk. So uh, I might just take another quick picture of my gorilla pod, show you where I am because it's been brilliant. Uh, it is, it's really handy. So follow me, folks. I'll just come from. There's a little uh, gate here, sort of a kissing gate, I suppose, and uh, head through there now, folks. End of cars, so I think I'm coming here to the road now. But, uh, certainly a lovely walk, uh, well recommended. The walk now, if you do come on this walk, where it comes out here, it's Aswood Lane. Uh, looks a very busy road, so if you've got kids with a little dog, just be careful when you step out to the road here. Anyway, follow me. Yeah, so be careful because it's a slippy slope down here and uh, you could sort of slide out into the front of a car, so be careful. Yeah. Anyone that's doing any videos, this is just a tip for them. Uh, I've got the road wireless go on and uh, I have modified the way it, this little wind thing stays on the end because they fall off if you're not careful. And also I've got a bit of fishing line on a safety pin. I just noticed that the uh, mic was hanging down on that. Now if I hadn't got that uh, Oh no, I'd have lost it, that'd be 150 quid down the drain. So that's a little tip. Anyway, that's enough of me going on about microphones. About cameras, no, that's another story. Anyway, follow me folks. Sign that's been up for years. That's for bank. Another car coming down. Hi folks, yeah, this is a uh farm shop at the top of Aswood Hill. It looks like it is open. There is um, some signs for Facebook etc over there so you can have a look, check it out. I'm back to where I came out of a previous walk just across the road from here so I'm not going to do much filming now as we go back into Aswood Bank because uh, it's on a previous video so Anyway, that's the priest farmhouse, and this is where we used to be scared when we were kids to walk down here because of the uh, dogs that used to run out. Right, folks, while it's quiet, I'm going to end the video at the top of Aswood Hill. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to do the usual like, subscribe, and uh, let's hope we have that jab soon and stay safe it's the main thing and i'll catch you all on another video folks bye for now bye